Well, the ultimate concern is based on patient safety because we believe that any medicine that arrives at a patient should be in the same condition as when it leaves our, our factory gates. Uh, and the clear facts are that when a medicine is counterfeit, it is totally different to the medicine we produce and it therefore may be intrinsically unsafe or certainly will not treat the condition for which the original medicine was prescribed. Well, that's impossible to say. WHO says a number of 1% within the developed world, but in reality it's impossible to say because the actors in this market are criminal. They don't report their, their sales to any, any database or anything. They deliberately try and hide away what they're doing. So it, it's actually impossible to say how big the, 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 the problem is. I think uh, the European Commission publish figures every year which show it is a huge problem, that show it's increasing, but I think they would admit they're only seeing the tip of the iceberg. I think it has to be a multifaceted approach. I think we totally support the uh, initiative from the European Commission uh, to legislate in this area. We would suggest that we need to move as quickly as possible uh, and to really focus on making sure that the legitimate supply chain is as safe as possible uh, and to, to try and get patients only to buy from legitimate sources.